This is a video by Richpin. Today we're working on a Yamaha motorcycle. This happens to be a FZ6 model. And what we're doing today is we are changing the engine oil and filter. And we are also adjusting and lubricating the drive chain. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start up the motorcycle, warm it up for a few minutes before we drain our oil. Now on the left side of the motor, way down here near the center stand, is the drain plug. It's a 17 millimeter. Now the problem is, you can see that it's right above the exhaust system. So what I've done is, I've made a little piece out of flashing that will direct the oil away from that. So now, when we take that plug out of there, we'll direct the oil into the pan away from the exhaust. Okay, well now we gotta let that drain. And you can see that it's draining right into the pan. Next thing we need to do is remove the oil filter, which is right here. You'll need a wrench like this. This one right here is from AutoZone, and the number is 25404. And we'll place it right on the filter there. There we go. We got it loose. Now we can let that drain. Move that over just a little bit to catch the oil. All right. Let that filter drain and then we can remove it. Now before we install our new filter, we're going to fill the filter half full with oil. And then we're going to take a little bit of oil and put that on our gasket. Alright, now she's ready to put in. Now before you put your drain plug in, inspect that gasket right there. Make sure it's in good condition. And we need to tighten that up. I'm using a um, six point socket on that. Is all tight now. Next thing we're going to do is clean that surface that the oil filter goes on to. Make sure it's clean. And then take our filter. Tighten it up. Now it's a little bit in of a tight place there to get a good grip on it. So what we're going to do is use our wrench and tighten it up. 
there we go. Now we still got a little residue on the engine right there from the oil. So we're going to take a little brake clean and clean that off. There we go. Now on the right side of the motorcycle you'll see the clutch cover here. And right in the clutch cover is the fill plug. And you can just unscrew that by fingers. And then you want to use a funnel to get in there to put your oil in. Now this particular motorcycle right here takes 2.80 liters to fill up with a filter change. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill it up to 2.60 liters and then we will start the motorcycle up for a couple minutes shut it down let it cool down for a couple of minutes and then we will check our level and uh, bring it up accordingly alright so we're going to uh, fill that right now now before we start it up we want to clean this surface a little bit now put our fill plug back in now we can start it up now we just got done warming the bike up for two minutes and we just let it cool down for a couple minutes now we have to check the oil level now right below the fill plug right up here is the dipstick this is it right here and we turn it counterclockwise unscrew it and we'll take it out wipe it off now what we do is we go in with the dipstick but we do not screw it in just like that we do not screw it in take it out and we'll read it and as expected we're below the full just a little bit so what we're going to do is we're going to fill it up now till it's right to the top if you can see it right to the top of this hatch hatch marks right here that's the full level right up there so that's what we got to do now okay we're gonna check it one more time can you see that Get the glare out of there right up to the top of the hatch marks right there it's right where she should be and as you can see it almost took the whole 2.80 liters that they said just a little bit shy that 200 would be the um, 880 liters just a little bit shy that's why you want to creep up on it okay we're all done with our oil change and filter so we can button everything back up put our dipstick in oil fill plug there we go we're all done next thing we have to do today is to check the slack in the chain make sure it's adjusted properly so we want to find the midpoint between the swing arm pivot and the rear axle right here so once we find the halfway point we can put our scale up there we're going to measure the top of the chain okay 
let's put it right there two inch on the scale and we are measuring about two and three eighths the spec on this chain is anywhere from one and three quarters to two and an eighth so we're gonna have to adjust it take some of that slack out of it tighten it up now back on the end of the swing arm you can see these graduations in here to help you to adjust the rear axle to get the chain correctly now this being a new motorcycle to me I don't know if these are correct so there is a step we're going to use to check to see if these marks are calibrated correctly and we're going to do that now now what we're going to do is take our tape measure measure from the center of the swing arm pivot over here on my left to the center of the rear axle and we're going to write down that measurement it measures 23 and one half inch now we're going to do it to the other side and measure that same distance on the other side from the swing arm pivot to the axle shaft and see if the dimensions are the same and then we're going to see if the marks on the end of this axle block right here corresponds the same to the the mark on the swing arm and if they do well then we can use those marks as a reference point to adjust our chain all right I just checked the marks on the other side and the distance between the axle and the swing arm pivot and they're both the same so we can use those reference marks if we want to so next thing we need to do is loosen the uh, Axle nut right here, it's a 32 millimeter. Okay. She's loose. Next thing we need to do is to loosen this lock nut right here, which locks down the adjuster. There are 12 millimeter. I'm going to use a flare wrench for the adjuster and hold the other end with a 12 and just loosen it like that. So we need to do that on the other side right now. Now to take the slack out of the chain we're going to move the adjuster outward. So that would be counterclockwise with the adjuster right here all right all right I did about three turns right there in that window and I'm going to go over to the other side and do the same amount of turns and then check the chain it took about six more little turns in that window to get our chain adjusted correctly but it is in within the tolerance now so what we're, next thing we're gonna do is to lock down our adjuster and we want to hold the end of it so it doesn't move and tighten the nut against the swing arm there it's all tightened now we're going to do it to the other side tighten it down the last step is to torque that nut down we are torquing it at 85 foot pounds Okay, there she is, all tight. The last thing we're going to do before we're done is we're going to lube the chain. This one isn't that dirty because it's a uh, street bike. So we're just going to uh, just wipe down the little excess dirt that's on it. 
it's pretty clean so we're looking good all right now for the chain lube I got, I got some uh, Bell Ray super chain lube here super clean so what we want to do is we always want to lube the sprocket side of the chain this being the sprocket side right here this is the lower run right here this is the sprocket side and we want to aim right towards the uh, end plates right there because we want the lube to get into the pins if all possible so we're just gonna rotate our tire like that now we're gonna try to get it on the other side of the okay I think we lubed it pretty good and that's all there is to doing the oil change and adjusting the chain on the Yamaha FZ6.